So everyone's here familiar with the term, face your fears. Well, I have a confession to make. I grew up fearing the concept of making mistakes. Imperfection was just such a daunting feeling for me. Why do you ask? Confession number two. I grew up with what you call the classic tiger mom. This is actually a photo I took from my family album. There you see me, right there. Anyways, I digress. As I pursued a career in the culinary arts, it was working with food that helped me get over the fear of imperfection. Making mistakes in the kitchen played a significant role in my recipe development. I found myself more daring, willing to experiment with different flavors and texture combination. It was freeing to feel this lift of constraint of worrying about being perfect with no mistakes. Cooking is where I learn to stop yes-butting myself. Yes-butting is when you prevent yourself from executing and acting on these ideas. Why? Because you've written these ideas off even before writing down, down on a piece of paper. Convincing yourself that these ideas inevitably will become mistakes. Filtering them out before testing and experimenting. So take cup for cup. The original formula took me about a year and a half to finalize. A year and a half is a very long time to make a lot of mistakes. So coming out with a correct ratio of ingredients that would yield a blend that performed similar to wheat flour, it wasn't an easy task. There were many times where I felt defeated because during that year and a half, I just wasn't getting it. You're bound to fall, pick yourself up, try again and again. So that's what I did for a year and a half. Pick myself up and again and again. And what I discovered along the path was all of the knowledge I gained through those mistakes has actually left me with a whole nother set of new products. So, and also these, while the original formula took me about a year and a half, these products actually were produced all within months. And best of all, my mistakes I made resulted in providing people with food memories. All of these images actually are people with celiac who use cup for cup to make their family pie recipes. So my impression for you guys is to go out there, make mistakes. Because you never know what those mistakes will lead you to. But on a sidebar, it's only mistakes in, related, in relations to food science experiments. Everything else I can't condone. So, thank you.